Welcome to day one of our Day of the Dead scratch art project. So I have some examples of various levels of completion here of our Day of the Dead skull. We are going to be using scratch paper with different colors. Um, today, now you're not gonna get this far today. You're probably not even going to get this far today. Today, what you are going to need is a template, a pencil, a wooden needle tool. You are going to select your scratch paper color, which you can't really see right now, but they're labeled on the clay table for you, and a folder. You may also have a visual packet for you and others at your table to share. So the fir very first thing you're gonna do, after the demonstration, I'm going to call you over to get all these materials. You're gonna go back to your seat. You're going to fold your piece of manila paper in half to make a basically a work folder. Scratch paper is colored paper that has black ink over top of it. So if it gets scratched in storage, you're gonna have to, you can't erase it, you have to make it work. So we're going to store this in our folder to protect it from class to class. So the first thing we're gonna do is write our name and class code. In this case, we are 5A, but if you're joining me in another class, it's probably something completely different. And then lightly, you are going to write your name and class code on the back of the scratch paper. Do not press too hard. See, it's super light. Because I don't want this to indent the other side. Now I can see it a little bit, but it'll be okay. Then I'm going to place my scratch paper on top of our manila paper. All right, you're done with your pencil at this point. I am going to take my template. Now there are a bunch of different templates <clears throat> over there for you to choose from. I'm going to lay this centered on my paper. It's probably not going to be perfect. They are probably not exactly the same size. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I'm going to get it as centered as I can You need your folder underneath as a cushion for this step. I'm gonna take my wooden needle tool and I am going to do a pressure tracing of my template. I'm not pressing super duper hard, I'm just tracing everything. this and I am done with my template. So this might not be as dramatic on all the different colors. This is the white paper. It has pulled up some of the ink but on the other colors you might just see a slight indent. You can clearly see it here. Okay. Then <clears throat> I am going to carefully start pulling my lines with my wooden needle tool. So I'm gonna trace over everything. You can use your template that you have or get a piece of scratch paper. The oils from your fingers, even if you just wash your hands, the oils from your fingers getting on the black paper makes it hard to scratch in certain areas. So <coughs> I like to put um, like a piece of scratch paper down. I 
I'm gonna trace over all of these. And once you have this traced, then it is going to be time to design. This is where that visual packet is going to come in handy. So some key characteristics of Day of the Dead skulls, I'm gonna call these sugar skulls probably because that's what they're mimicking are that the hollows of the eyes have something inside of them. Most often, more often than not. That the teeth are kind of decorative and that they're really elaborate with designs. So <clears throat> when I say the teeth are elaborate, like here I just have, I have a skull. What I'm going to want to do is do this bounce to give my teeth. On the top and bottom. And I might even do like another row around it. I could decorate from there on up. I said the hollows of the eyes typically have something in them, right? So flower, 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 flower is a pretty easy, common thing. If there aren't things in the eyes, they're elaborately decorated around the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to do some type of flower real quick in one of these. Actually, before I even do the eyes, everybody is going to remove the black from the interior of the nose. Why do I have to do that? What if I wanna put a flower in there? Um, it looks weird if you have a booger flower. So we're going to avoid that and just, you have to cross hatch here to get it all out real nice. Remove that. And then you can put something inside the eye. And I'm going to want pattern on top of pattern, but right now we're just getting some basic things on. And then maybe I would scratch out the negative space behind my flower. Okay. You are not going to get real far today. You are going to get your folder created. You are going to get your paper. You are going to get your pressure line drawing. You might start doing some of this, but you're going to run out of time. We have a couple weeks to work on this, um, a total of three actually, and this is day one. So if you're even at this point, great. At the end of class, you're going to take your paper, put it in your folder. These are going to be collected on the demo table. Your packets are going to get returned. Your templates will be returned. Your wooden needle tool will be returned. These templates do not stay in here. They'll scratch up the inside. They'll scratch up your scratch art and you don't want that. So these are going to get returned into the correct pile and we will pass our um, little folders out at the beginning of next class again to get moving on this. Do we have any questions? All right. 